Welcome back to PA Live. Our next guest is representing the Keystone State incredibly well on the wildly popular and always competitive singing competition show, The Voice. Who isn't watching right here on WBRE? And so we all saw, you know, that four chair turn. Dazzled with her blind audition, now she's dazzling on PA Live. Laura Williams, welcome to the show. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Rachel and Chris. Thank you so much for having me. It is so good to have you and congratulations on all of the success. I mean, not just a four chair turn, but some of the highest praise we have ever heard from voice coaches. I mean, it was incredible to watch. How did it feel on your end? Oh, it did not feel real when it <laughs> happened. When you end that song and all four chairs are facing you with that bluish white light that they glow with when they press that button. I was like, this is not real. The crowd's going wild and they're all clapping for me. These legends that I love. It was surreal and I still think about it and get chills. I can't believe it happened. Oh, so incredible. I guess like for me, as I'm watching that moment along with the rest of the country, you know, all the judges are great. But when you think of someone like Reba McIntyre, who <laughs> is truly like a living legend mm -hmm. among generations like how do you deny her <laughs> like as a coach i can answer that because she's a directioner <laughs> laura you love a direction <laughs> yes uh you guys both so valid so valid <laughs> so my my thought process a little all over the place when i was going into the show and when i found out reba was the coach i was so excited she was actually my first choice so my family and i we would watch the reba show all the time we're all huge fans it was kind of like a homage to my family you know i love reba so much i was so excited that this was going to be her first season and that i'd be on her first season so i was so incredibly excited so when i get there i'm like okay reba and then niall close second and I was like, okay, let's, let's do this, let's do this. I get on the stage and you know, everything changes once you start singing, once you start seeing those chairs turn, everything just switches in your brain. I was up there and I was singing and I sang that first line and Gwen turned right mm -hmm. away. And I was like, team Gwen, I'm going Gwen no matter what. <laughs> so it was wild how like quickly my mind changed once you're up there and you're actually in that moment that you've been waiting so long for, prepping so long for and then Niall turns, and then Reba turns, and then John turns, and I'm just in this state of shock while I'm still singing. And, you know, as the song ends and I'm looking at all of them, I'm like, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this is phenomenal. So Gwen starts and she's really vouching for me. She's really fighting for me. And I was like, oh, I'm going team Gwen all yeah. the way. <laughs> and then, Oh my gosh. Then Niall starts talking and I'm like, oh. He takes off the ring. He's ready to propose. I'm like, I <laughs> talked about that moment <laughs> for so long. I was like, I cannot believe this is happening right now. Like I saw you in concert all those years ago and now you're watching me perform. You're taking off your ring from Niall. <laughs> it was not real it's so me. relatable though i understand how like there's a million things going through your mind and then you have like a childhood crush just staring you down saying pick me pick me how do you not pick him that's so fun yeah. i'm curious too about the whole audition day like how does that how does that work once you arrive i'm curious about your outfit and the styling did you bring that from home did they style you there like talk us through the nitty-gritty yeah. yeah so we have like a wardrobe process that goes on um, and so you bring some clothes from home, you know, some things that would be good for the stage, kind of like you're coming off your hometown stage, but a little bit elevated is the vibe that they were going for. So I brought some clothes and you you usually mix and match. You, you do some of your clothes and then some of what they have at wardrobe. So what was mine for the blind audition, what I was wearing that I owned was my pants, the swirl mm -hmm. pants from Target. Love that. Those are mine. And the shoes, they were boots. They were actually from Walmart. Oh my so gosh. it was so funny. And then, you know, everything from like the top and like the extra jewelry, these are all my rings, but the extra jewelry, that was all theirs. So that was really cool, cool. To, to go there and be like dressed up. It was so cool to have a stylist. Yeah. It was a dream, like me, like a little Quaker town girl. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> is crazy you know at universal studios just so about <laughs> incredible show but the day of the audition 
it's it's intense so i auditioned later in the day and my call time was pretty early so you get up you you get ready to go you know you get into a wardrobe and you're waiting for a while waiting for you know those who go earlier in the day to go and then you have your own group that goes and you know you're all backstage in like this little room just waiting and and you can hear everybody who goes before you wow. you can't quite make out what's happening but you can hear them singing you can hear the audience you can hear the coaches and it's so nerve-wracking and i was one of the very last of the day so i'm just sitting backstage for hours just trying not to get in my head you know trying to stay calm maybe that's the secret though because you impressed holy cow so i mean i'm thinking about next steps in the show we know we have battle rounds knockout rounds all of this coming down the pipeline i imagine that you're absolutely one to watch people watched your blind audition other competitors I mean and said Laura is one to look out for so I think you're gonna have no problem going all the way I'm such a Laura Williams fan oh my gosh and just to know that you also shop at Target and Walmart Get now not only are we voting for our Keystone State girl we are voting for honest I feel like this is the TikTok when you know she says this is from Target this is from Walmart and then it's Reba saying I'm a survivor <laughs> 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 we love it. We love our humble queen. We are such a fan of yours. You are, like we said, representing Pennsylvania incredibly well, and we will absolutely be watching you Mondays and Tuesdays at 8 p.m. right here on WBRE. Congratulations, Laura, and thank you for spending some time with us here on PA Live. Thank you so much for your support and your kindness. It is a dream to be here and to be on this interview. It was so amazing. Thank you guys so much for having me. Laura, I hope we can get you in our studio one day for some live singing. Oh yeah, I'll be there. You just send me the details. Okay, sounds good. Consider them sent, <laughs> Laura. We love you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. You stick around at home, more of the show after this.